All right, everyone, it's time for today's main video. I, I wonder what it could possibly be about. Oh, maybe it's the Kanye meltdown on InfoWars the other night that literally everybody is talking about. It's still trending now. Uh, when I say meltdown, the interview started weird before anything was even said. Now, Kanye comes out in a gimp mask looking thing. It actually appears to be a reference to something that Kim Kardashian was wearing uh, a while ago. Uh, she had like this black cat suit and had a full mask, so I think that was the point. I think that's a, a Kardashian reference, which is amusing. He brought out a butterfly net and a bottle of, of Yahoo, which is a, a dis disgusting it's kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. I sipped it once and it was way too sugary for me. And uh, the reference is Netanyahu, uh, of course. It's, it's a Jew reference. And uh, then uh, proceeds to make Alex Jones very uncomfortable with a long spiel about the Nazis. Now, some of the things that... He also got banned uh, from Twitter the other night, although I believe it's a temporary ban. Um, I'll talk about that. It, ha it had to do with a symbol that's used by the Black Hebrew Israelite movement. Although it has other older occult connotations, I will try to explain. It's a, a swastika combined with a, a Jewish Star of David. Um, I would note that the Star of David is not unique to Judaism, and the swastika is not unique to the NSDAP. It plays a role in my analysis of that. So I'll give you some expert advice with regards to the occult background of symbol uh, symbolic usage. Um, the whole thing was, was weird. Uh, Alex Jones looked wildly uncomfortable. Uh, Kanye will probably call him an NPC like he's doing with Tim Pool right now. He's dissing him. Uh, Fuentes was there. He seemed he was having a great time just laughing, it seems. Here's the thing. First to the Twitter ban. Um, he was banned for inciting violence with this post. Uh, I don't know if Elon Musk or even Kanye himself realized that, uh, this, but that symbol is used by theosophists in a slightly modified form. It's also just a common geometric arrangement that you'll find from ancient cultures scattered across the world. Of course, it's a solar symbol. Now, both of them can be solar uh, in nature. Of course, a star, solar symbol. The swastika is typically used as, as a sun wheel, in the most literal sense, uh, depending on how it's arranged. It's used by Hindus, it's used by Buddhists, it's used by theosophists, so on and so on forth. Um, so I, I don't know that he should have been banned temporarily or fully suspended for inciting violence for posting uh, a symbol. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, and, and believe me, I'm a free speech purist. Nothing that Kanye said here in this joke of an interview offends or alarms me in any way. I do not believe that Kanye West is going to join a skinhead group, for example. Now, I was told that he can't be racist anyway because he's black, so I, I, he has to have the right political views, or in Biden's words, you ain't black. You know, he hasn't decided to vote for the Democratic Party yet. It's a real big problem. To be clear, I think that Kanye's presidential ambitions are a joke. I think it's part of the joke. I think that he's realized, here's what I think Kanye's realized. He's realized that there is no redemption possible from cancel culture. Uh, it's, it's, it's impossible. He's too outspoken to want to muzzle himself, and so he decided to just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to break all the toys. He got himself banned from every mainline platform, including now potentially Twitter. Again, might be temporary, I'm not sure. Um, he got himself cut off by banks, etc., etc. They've already done the maximum damage they can ever do to him. They can't take money that they're not partnered with or holding for him, so he's still worth hundreds of millions of dollars. They can't ban him off his own platform. He just bought Parler not that long ago. Um, he's not going to get banned off of, I mean, off of you know interviews and stuff. People want him aboard. If they have an edgy uh, side to themselves, they'll want Kanye aboard. They'll be begging for him to come on and say weird shit because it'll give them a lot of ad revenue. Um, he has figured out his niche. He doesn't have to silence himself because there's nothing that they can do against him anymore. The next move by the lame establishment, if they really get pissed off at Kanye, will be to try to institutionalize him Britney Spears style. Apparently, they've already threatened to do so. Which I find alarming, by the way. It's, it's alarming that a person that has that much wealth and power can have someone that works with them threaten to get together with other people to force them to be institutionalized. Never really was a fan of a system in which that sort of involuntary slavery can exist. And that is basically what it is. Look at the conservatorship of uh, Britney Spears, for an example. Yeah, she says batty stuff. She does weird shit. She's like posing topless in her 40s and stuff. Okay. Doesn't she have the right to be kooky uh, and not be, uh, you know, uh, hopped up on Thorazine or something like that? Have her dad robbing her blind? He got kicked out. I think, I think she's suing him. 
Uh, as to the uh, uh, claims that Kanye made specifically about the Nazis, can I please posit something here? Have you ever heard of Operation Paperclip? The U.S. government designed weapons and the space program and the automotive industry, agriculture, medicine, everything else throughout the 50s, 60s, and 70s was heavily influenced by people who had been members of the Nazi party. Now, if we're talking about Nazis as an ideology, I don't think that's necessarily what Kanye had in mind. I think he was referring to the political movement. The problem is that under the Third Reich, at some point, they eliminated the other parties and everyone had to be a Nazi. So someone who is a far left, they're a communist, but they still have no choice but to register as a member of the Nazi party. Well, clearly the individual is literally a Nazi, as, as far as the political movement goes. Doesn't mean that they align with its particular ideology. After Operation Paperclip and similar efforts in the Soviet Union, thousands and thousands of, of uh, scientists, engineers, etc., from Nazi Germany were given full clemency and highly paid jobs. They were part of the, our, the atomic weapons program, they helped the United States get to the fucking moon. <laughs> there were Nazis involved with these things. The jet engine that's used in every friggin' plane that's used for commercial travel was designed and first tested successfully by the NSDAP. Look at the Autobahn, the concept of the modern highway system basically developed. So yeah, there were highways before, and what do you think the interstate system was based off of? What do you think the suburban growth plan was based off of? It was based off of fucking Lebensraum. The United States was heavily influenced by Nazi ideology. For any member of the United States government to complain about what Kanye is saying here begs the question if they understand their own nation's history. I would say the same for the Russians and the Soviet diaspora. Doesn't mean you agree with the ideology. The Nazis were deeply authoritarian. They loved censorship. There was a heavy-handed heavy involvement of corporations over private lives. Kind of sounds like the modern Democratic Party, actually, when you come to think of it. Uh, but that being said, that doesn't mean that there weren't members of that movement that really would... That, I mean, the scientists mainly, they were just lab nerds. They just wanted to toy around with uranium or uh, engineering things. Um, most of them were not principled in the... Some of them were compelled to work, by the way. Uh, they weren't really principled in the sense that they're like, Oh, yes, I like this Hitler stuff. That's, that's sort of Hollywood uh, bullshit, actually. It's arguably propaganda from that same era. Very funny. Look at Dr. Strangelove sometime, and keep in mind that it's half a true story. It's just the ending uh, didn't... We didn't end quite that way. <laughs> Probably could have uh, managed to survive if it had been back in the 1960s. Did you know they had to dub in the line about uh, having a good weekend in Vegas uh, at the end because JFK was shot a few days before release? <laughs> they, originally, it was a good day in Dallas. Of course, the character's a Texan. So as far as Kanye goes, like I, I think that he is a little bit batshit. Um, but he doesn't care. He's, he's not a threat to society. He's not going to build a new Nazi party. That's, that's hyperbolic bullshit. And what he's saying is also ironically being used as a push for more censorship, like on Twitter and elsewhere. Elon Musk can say, you know, fuck around, find out. He, he literally posted that in response to Kanye being banned, getting himself banned, arguably, for more attention. Um, even that's not enough. The leftoids are piling on Elon Musk right now. Well, you need to do more. Oh, my God, it's just a temporary ban? Shit. Oh, my God. You've got Nazis on your platform. The EU needs to do something about this shit. It's exposing hypocrisy. Kanye's having a good time. Several of the points that he made technically are salient. Um, I refuse to pretend to, for clout purposes, by the way, to be offended by any of it because I use 4chan. So <laughs> I, I see things that are far dicier on a regular basis. I notice there are a lot of content creators who are. They're doing the clout thing like, I disavow Kanye West. I... Why would I want to do that? I don't give a fuck what he says. I support his right to say he didn't incite violence against anyone. He didn't, he didn't say, well, I, I, I think that we should do violent things to this ethnic minority. It's not what he was saying. Although I will admit, uh, when you come out there, you know, in the Kardashian thing with the butterfly net and start rambling about Nazis, I can't imagine that's endearing many people to your presidential platform. That's about all. Peace out.